welcome back if you're new please do like and subscribe onto my channel as per usual darling please so let me tell you how i got invited to celebrate easter aka Pâques in cote d'ivoire in 2023 with a, a few of my friends so I met an I a South African lady at church who then introduced me to another person that they had met via a mutual friend back in South Africa, who then had friends that they had went to university with, who then had friends that they went that had grown up with. So you can see my dilemma. I'm with complete strangers. At that time, they were strangers. Of course, they're friends now. So they invited me to Tumudi, uh, which is around about an hour and a half, almost two hours uh, away from Cote d'Ivoire to go and celebrate uh, Bakinu. At the time, I was, of course, by myself and was uh, very much keen on the adventure of life and celebrating and exploring new different aspects of Cote d'Ivoire and even though um, I was excited to explore I was also extremely scared because like this is sounding horror movie vibes <laughs> anyways I went with them and we drove overnight passing I think two toll gates uh, if not one um, driving into the abyss of the night extremely scared literally checking every second how far we were <laughs> Uh, in terms of reaching to Modi, absolutely not trusting the process. But anyways, we reached there safely. When we got there, um, we had gotten there. Our room was not fully, fully ready. So, Sahamba, Sayongwariza, guys, we went to go have a party. That's the direct translation. <laughs> So the next morning, we woke up, got ready to go uh, and join the festivities. And to my surprise, here I am seeing Ifalake on TV. I'm like, here we come, South Africa. <laughs> and we are in the farm, so a girl must wear a dress. Like, ain't no other way. <laughs> Okay, so Bakinu is a celebration, is an Easter celebration celebrated by the Baoli people. It is actually such a beautiful um, array of festivities, dancing, uh, music playing, I think a display of the Goli mask, uh, which is actually done on uh, uh, the, the weekend of the Easter weekend, uh, beginning from Friday up until Sunday. Um, it is when everyone basically goes back to their villages and they re literally celebrate. I would associate or uh, correlate this basically with um, Christmas in South Africa, where everyone goes back home and uh, gets to do all the things that they wanted to do the whole year. And uh, December generally is the, the time of the year where a lot of uh, festivities and traditional events that need to happen at home occur in South Africa. But um, yeah, it was a beautiful, beautiful experience. Um, wow.
for watching my video all the way up until the end. This is a beautiful um, and amazing cultural experience that I got uh, whilst I was here in Cote d'Ivoire and in Easter last year. Still a lot, lot more to come. So please stay tuned. Please do like and subscribe if you like this kind of content. Stay tuned for the upcoming weeks as more and more and more and more is coming and amazing, more exciting things. Um, and also getting to learn more about West Africa, learn more about myself and learn more about life in general. So let's stay learning. See you soon.